Yo guys, and welcome back to another Argus video. In this video, we will be continuing the quest line and story that awaits for us when we venture to Argus in the future. So if you want to avoid these spoilers, now is the time to go ahead and leave this video. I will see you guys later. Thank you so much for dropping on in. So the last time we assaulted Nethraxus Hold and dethroned Nethraxus himself, only to be forced to retreat back to the Vindicar by an unknown entity, most likely Agrimar. After returning to the Vindicar, we speak to Velen, who tells us that even though the might of the Legion is great, and standing as we are right now, and assaulting on Taurus the Burning Throne, we may be facing a losing war and may outright lose the war by doing that, there is hope. There is an artifact available that can aid us in this war. To acquire this artifact, we must venture to Makari, one of the three zones located in Argus, which is one of the lands of the planets which have been blasted off from the surface and which you can see above you when you first arrive on Argus. On Makari itself, you can gaze down below at Argus and see the planet as a whole. It's just very visually, uh, it's amazing and I really, you know, wow, this art team just really did Argus some justice. It truly feels like a different atmosphere, especially since all we see is like black and green and gray due to the fell and lifelessness of the Legion. It's good to see that there's actually a zone in Legion where there's actually coloration and life to it. It feels different and it just really looks nice. So now the artifact that we are trying to obtain is called the Crown of the Triumvirate. Although we do not know the powers of this artifact, we know that it holds the power to really aid us in the war against the Legion. Velen has one of the three pieces needed in order to form the Crown of the Triumvirate. He has the Eye of Prophecy. However, the other two pieces needed to form the entire crown as a whole, the Sigil of Awakening, which was held by Archimon, and the Crest of Knowledge, we must obtain for ourselves in order to form the artifact. Together we venture down to the surface of Makari, where Velen shares with us a cutscene of he and the Drana escaping Argus. Now like all of the other cutscenes on the PTR, it is not available to see yet, so I can't really show you guys that right now. But after the cutscene, we see the spirits of the Draenei who fought, fled, and died all those years ago, and now to this day they are still doing that. Their spirits are fighting, fleeing, and dying. Somehow their spirits were still tied to this area, forced to constantly relive the events of that day for thousands of years. We even see the spirit of Anaru by the name of Lura, who volunteered to stay behind and sacrifice its life so that the Draenei may escape. To put the souls of the Draenei to rest and at ease, Velen tells us to activate the ground's defenses in order to stop the Eridar spirits from hunting his people down. This should ultimately eliminate the hostile spirits, allowing the fleeing Draenei to finally be at rest. But that is not all that we have to do. In order to power up the ground's defenses, we have to acquire the Arcanite Matrix, a source of power. Unfortunately, this power core is held by Kaza Doom, a devout Legion servant who volunteered to become the first of his kind. As stated by Velen, Kaza Doom's arrival heralded the end of this battle. So after receiving instructions, we activate the fallen defenses, slay Kaza Doom, and power up the arena's defensive fortifications. Now this is the part where I really, really want to show you the voice lines because I can just imagine that it would be amazing. But when I did these quests at the time, when I recorded it at the time, uh, I did them before the voice files were actually implemented into the PTR, so unfortunately, you can't hear Velen speak. But what he says is that he regrets leaving. He is saddened that so many of his people died that day that they all left, and he is saddened that they will never know how he, Velen, mourned for them. As he left his homeworld and saw Argus retreating farther and farther into the cosmos, he begged the Naru to allow him to return to Argus and to return to his people, to allow him to save those that were left behind. But that fate, that fate of going back and ultimately, you know, death or perhaps even worse, torture or corruption, it was not to be his. After securing the arena grounds, we make contact with Ramul to call forth the teleportation beacon from the Vindicar directly to our location, allowing reinforcements to come through and aid us in finding the missing parts of the Crown of the Triumvirate. The first relic of the two remaining pieces of the crown that we must acquire is the Sigil of Awakening, the relic that Archimon carried with him. To acquire this relic, we travel to the greatest school of magic on Argus that once existed and meet up with Archmage Yumera. You may remember her, you know, the one mage who made us shoot down 
down bats blindfolded in that cannon. Once you arrive, she finds an old construct that has been drained of power, but can still aid us in finding the sigil. To bring him back to life, however, we must acquire power conduits scattered across the school's grounds to power jolt his mechanical frame. In case the power conduits do not work, however, the native Panthara also are known to devour magic wherever they tread, so we kill a couple of these native beasts and retrieve the magical essence that they have devoured. Once we have the two power sources, we use them both to restore power to the construct, and then ask him where the sigil is located. He responds to us by telling us that the sigil is only accessible to Archimonde's chosen. Those who have shown strength, tenacity, and ingenuity are worthy of accessing the sigil. So that is what we must do. To show our mastery of strength, we must best in combat the echoes of the school's best pupils. One of the three being an Eridar by the name of Jurassim, who says when you aggro him, you face Jurassim, Grand Vizier of the Conservatory. This was actually Lord Jaraxxus prior to taking up the powers of Fel and changing his name to Jaraxxus. The next trial, that of ingenuity or cunning, requires us to bear the blessings of two of the three of the Eridar statues that lay before us. The colors of these statues are red, blue, and yellow. And the description of the altar before you, before the statue, says that pretty much if you carry all three of the blessings, you will not be able to venture forth. It will bear, it will block your path. However, two of the three blessings worn at a time will open the way to which you seek. So in order to do this, you must combine these blessings to match the color of whatever building you seek to enter, so that you may acquire the fragments inside needed to complete the quest. For example, if a door has a green ward, you must take on the blessing of both blue and yellow to form the color green on you to gain entry into the building with the green ward. The last trial is that of tenacity. For this, you must go on to the opposite ends of the school's grounds where you enter a building that has a bunch of obstacles and defenses. If you reach the other end without dying, you pass the test. After passing all three tests, we return to Optimus Prime and he allows us to proceed with the trial. However, there is only one more trial needed in order to obtain access to the Sigil of the Awakening. One last trial that none, not even all of those who passed the other three trials previously before us have ever overcome. This final trial is to face Archimonde himself, who in our case, we fight an Echo of Archimonde instead rather than him personally. And after defeating the Echo of him, we claim the Sigil for ourselves and return to Yamera who instructs us to return to the Vindicar as soon as possible and secure the artifact since it is too dangerous and attracts too much attention in the open. After we secure the artifact, Velen reflects on Archimonde. He makes note that Archimonde was the most power hungry of the three, power was all he craved, and that he saw the sigil as nothing more than a plaything since alone it was of little use to him. But if the three relics were to combine to form the crown of the triumvirate, the game would change entirely. This lack of foresight and disdain for the sigil ultimately would prove to be a huge mistake by Archimonde, for if he were to suspect that we would travel to Argus in the future, and that Velen intended to acquire all three relics in order to form the crown of the triumvirate and unlock the Vindicar's true potential against the Legion, Archimonde surely would have destroyed it before we would have been able to acquire it. But that's pretty much it guys, that draws an end to today's video of Argus ladies and gentlemen. Next time, we will continue our story in Macquarie once again, we will continue our story with Velen once more returning and reflecting on the memories of his past. And next video's quest and lore is by far my favorite of all the questing that I have done on Argus so far, so be sure to tune in for that one because it is just truly amazing. Once again guys, thank you all so much for watching, and until next time, I will see you all later.